Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to Sun Up on Seven. Just before the break, we had a very interesting conversation with Pastor Wade and Father Anderson, discussing the referendum or the upcoming petitions or petitions and possible uh, upcoming referendum on the marijuana bill. Interesting subject. In case you missed it, you can always go back and visit us on YouTube, Facebook, uh, Instagram, all of these social media for that topic. But now we're joined here with Belizean Excellence, Mr. Byron Pope, who came in third for the 92nd annual cross-country race. And he'll be discussing his career and how was the race? So good morning to you, Mr. Pope. Good Thank morning. you for being on the couch with us this morning. How are you doing? Good morning, morning. I'm still feeling a bit tired. I just don't mean I ask yeah. you to recover still. Yeah, I'm still, still in a recovery mode. And we know that I could imagine recovery mode because Saturday was just a breezy day and yeah. no breeze with cycling. Yeah. Um, and a good mixture. <laughs> no. <laughs> how, was, how was the race on a whole? Um, the race was pretty, pretty hard from the start. The, the wind let us reach Kyle in like... Quick, I could imagine. Yes. Up and I. First time I, I've ridden a race in Belize that we averaged 27.2 to Kyle. Wow. wow. Over the hills, yes, yes. Um, if, oh, if you guys, hills. yeah, even over the hills, even if you guys could have, uh, were watching the live, I told um, Mr. Anjo on the cycle, I said, Mr. Anjo, we average 27.2, you know, we almost reached Kyle. Um, and that's not, that's not easy to do. Man, after the race finished, I had back pain, belly pain, <laughs> foot pain, everything else, I mean, it hurt. You know, it was, it was funny because like I, I was mentioning over a couch talk that a friend and I left early because we never want to catch up behind uh, the, the race. Mm. But I swear we were going 55, 60 miles an hour. And it, because of the amount of people on the road, we, were, we'd have sworn mm -hmm. that the race, the race right behind me, the full <laughs> while. Yeah. So, okay. Um, this, the wind helped you there. Um, let's talk about your cycling career, how it began. Uh, how long have you been doing this? Well, um, I'm riding 15 years now. Okay. Yeah, and I started cycling through my dad. My dad was a cyclist and he was killed. He passed away, yeah. And that was the, the platform that really get me into cycling and from he, he, he gave me one rule when I started cycling. He told me, son, if you want to do this, you got to do it at your best of your ability. And one of the main things he always stressed to me was to be disciplined and humble. And you could, I could be on record for this because I'm one of the most respected cyclists in Belize, humble and disciplined. You know that after the cross country, I got up Sunday morning and I still went to ride. I needed that to, to try to make my body recover as faster. So with back pain, belly yeah, pain, everything. Yeah, I still had to get up. I still had to get up and do it. All right. That shows it definitely. I don't win, but I still have to continue this pace. So mm -hmm. as I know many people had slowed down during COVID, what was your COVID experience? Did you take a break? Did you, what did you do well, in regards to preparing, preparing for this well, um, this year? We were all forced to take a one month break yes. when, when, they, when we couldn't April go out. But uh -huh. Man, that, that was one of the roughest times in my life. I feel like I would have gotten crazy. I, am, I have a, a home trainer at home, but it's something that you can't really do four, five, six hours on. You could, right. but it's not so easy to do. It's real. You have to really have a strong mind to do it. I used to do like an hour every day. And that was kind of hard. I put it all angle of the yard, the veranda, under the house, <laughs> everywhere, so that I could just have you a little bit yeah, while well, you see me. Yeah, but I get it done. And as soon as they say that we can ride on the road again, we hit the road. And I start training, and then we, we were lapsed again because we couldn't have races. But I just hold the faith and keep, keep training now because I said if, if I stop, I would lose all the physical ability, and then it would take me longer to. Right. To get in shape, no? and leading up to January, when when we heard that they would have the Creme Classic, I said if they would have Creme Classic, they would definitely have cross yes. country. So you put two and two together. Yeah, yeah, right. and then it's a it's a really it's a really complicated time because 
it's really hard in terms of finding sponsorship because we know that the, the economy is taking a lick. Right. And you have to do with what you have. So I started my little off-season workout, some jogging, went to the gym, tried to strengthen up the body, and started to prepare for, for the, the Creme Classic. And after the Creme Classic, I got, I got a new coach. And I started working with, with this coach, and I noticed that after six weeks, my, my fitness level started to raise. And after that, I said, man, I have to be more serious, serious about my training. I'm already serious, but I started to take it in depth in terms of eating properly, mm -hmm. because that is one of our main problems in Belize. We, we don't eat properly. Right. Well, I'll be real. We eat what we could get with hand pan, or our money for our food. Right. Mm -hmm. But there are simple things that we can eat that our body needs, and maybe we can get right off, out of our yard. So, so Byron, it was it, it's about training, physical. It's about eating, eating. right? Mm -hmm. uh, you smoke? resting. Resting. No, no, no. I'm 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 not a smoker. I I grew up in that environment. I have people around me who do it, but I have never tried it, and they respect me for that. I have friends that I hang with them, and they lick for their marijuana, and they pass it, and they just circle me and buy none for the cyclists. Right. Yeah. But no, and again, I, I take a little drink and, and thing like after this race, I... You may need one. I, no, I wanted, I, wanted to, I wanted to get high, but I still can't get high because I still feel tired. Yeah, yeah, everything. I still but feel tired. You also spoke about the mental aspect of it. And I know that this time around for this cross country, um, it, it somewhat was over, not overbearing, but it, something was weighing on your mind. Mm. And it had to deal with your, your past mentor. Could you touch on that? Yes. Um, I could remember last the week before, someone from Channel 7 tried to contact me about giving an interview about the accident that happened with Mr. Edison Vintage Usher and Mr. Karim Banks, no? All right, rest in peace. That accident literally happened in front of my eyes, and I was really, really down. Mentally, I, I was weak. The Sunday I, after I came back from the accident scene, I couldn't even eat. I, in the night, I threw up, threw up, threw up. I said, man, it's, this is not good, because I know close to an event like that, your body has to be ready, physical, mental has to be right. with you. And I, I just tried to tough it out. I said, man, I know that Ed Edison, because he was the one that set up this West Shop Alliance team that I am on together and for the accident to happen in front of our eyes. And I was the one who was, was there talking to him. I said, Ed, Eddie, I know that you saw us, those whole tight. And up to now, I still can't grasp that, that he, he left. Mr. Banks as well, those are guys who I see every day. As I work in the field, and I see him every day, maybe driving the, the, his truck and, and, and stuff around the city. So. It's really, really hard for, for cycling now, and I just want to give a little condolence to Mr. Banks, Mr. Willie, and, and his family, and to Mr. Edison Osha's family as well. Definitely. Do you think with that overall accident and their passing that you had a little bit more drive to as well in their honor to want to win the race? Well, when I was in the breakaway and we passed the spot where it happened, I catch a, a real cool seal, a real cool vibe, but... I said, this is strength. So I, says, I says, yes, I, I said, I, I'm in the front. And I keep telling myself, boy, I need to win this race today. And I must say that the Belizean public, they help, help us a long, lot, a lot along the way. They gave us coconut water. They gave us sandwich, Gatorade, Monster, anything you could think about. When you reach from, from Hattieville all up to Cayo and back, you pretty much, if you're a single rider, you don't need any service from a car because all you need to do is grab it from the side of the road. And, and I was doing that too because I said, like, <laughs> in cycling, you need to eat and yeah. hydrate properly, yes. especially for 140 miles. So if you Can't miss, miss. Yes. if you miss uh -huh. what you not put in at the first hour or two, yep. you will suffer that in at the last, last hour and a half. So as I see somebody, like, if I know, know the person, 
and I sit there and push out something to me, I grab right. it and I stuck it in my back. When I stuck it in my back, if I don't want it right away, I just put it up, five miles, ten miles on the road, pick it out, eat it. I literally eat six to seven sandwiches from Belize to Kai and back, banana, apple. You mean to get that though? Yeah, they get no bun, they get yeah, everything. Yeah, bun, coconut like water, yeah. everything that I know that your body needs. Yes. Especially the coconut the water is there for the electrolyte. Oh. Man, I try not miss that. I had a guy who, um, Mr. Eli, put a bell my pan. Man said, Pope, I'm there at this spot. When I'm when going, when, when I come back, I'm there at this spot. I make sure I don't miss that. And Strategic point. Yeah, 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 I make sure I don't miss uh -huh. that. And when, when I get there stuff, I don't just keep it for myself. I share it with the guys too. Right. Because you have to use your head. I'll talk a little bit about this. You have to use your brain because bicycle and all this about fitness and the strength, yes. you have to use your brain. Yep. And in the breakaway, I was not the oldest guy in the breakaway, but I'm a guy with a lot of experience. And I was the one who was orchestrating the prize sharing. Ah, if you if you guys can like watch over the video, they have a lot of station prize and the station prize would have caused chaos in the breakaway and maybe we we would have been caught. So I was like sharing the prize with with the guys, okay, you're gonna take right. this one, I'm gonna take this one, the next guy's gonna take this one, so that everybody is working together and then we share and that that's that's how we get our success. Um at mile 30 the the Anguilan guy, Hassan Hennis, he got flat. Oh yeah he got flat. So some people was this, was this the video that I saw with the changing of the bike? <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Ah, he got okay. flat. Some people kinda like criticize me about it and tell me that um we should have took that time and attack the man, but I race internationally and that's not a good thing to do with, with someone. Try to leave them when they have a mechanical. That's a mechanical. Now if he was tired and then you attack him, that's, that's fear. Mm -hmm. So I told John and I told Marlon, I said, man, this guy is helping us all the way. I said, the least we can do is lose 10 to 20 seconds when he changed the bike. And this 10 to 20 seconds could be what we need because all four of us was working together. If it, if it was down to three of us, maybe we would have been caught by the buck. Right. So you have to, next time we don't have 125 miles on our belt. So you have to wow. think. <laughs> and when you reach 100 miles, your body going in our zone. So all of that, you have to think. So John pull up on the side of me and say, um, well, Pope, who's going to beat this guy now? Because I, John was really concerned of me and the Angolan guy because I, I raced with John often in Belize, right. mm -hmm. and I beat him in the classics, in, in sprint. So right. mm -hmm. he didn't want to bring me along with him to the finish cars. And worse, if I reach inside the city, and that Belize and That's crowd it. start to give me that vibe from Bolivar. Right. Right. that cheer <laughs> yeah. and everything. But the man, the man did a real good attack at Hattieville, and he caught me, he caught me off guard, and I started to crump. I said, damn, I didn't know. I said, I can't give up like this. And, I tell, I tell Marlon, I say, Marlon, if you have it, you got to go. The man said, Pope, we have to rotate together. I tell him, man, let's go there and make a try, get back to there. I did two rotations on Marlon. I have to really thank the man because the Marlon really put me back in and out that, that same position for when we catch right. them back, right? Mm -hmm. After we caught them back at mile 13, I said, I'm going to try now. And I didn't get up and cause a big reaction because sometimes it's not about a big reaction. If you try a big reaction, the guys would know you're, you're strong. So I just ride out and like kind of watch from the corner of my eye. I saw Hassan, he don't sight that yeah, oh, this guy, this guy want to try to go. He jump on the next side and when he jump on the next side, he attack me. And I, well, I sit up, I say, well, no, John, you have to chase him now because you just attack us, so you have to chase him now. And we continue to rotate. I started to encourage the man because John was, he wanted to quit. But the back guys were coming, they had 3.15 on us. I said, why? We can't make them man come and catch me now. We don't run all the way to Kaya. Exactly. Almost all the way come back. Man said, well, I don't, John, uh, well, I don't know who, we, who we're going to work. I said, come <laughs> on, man, we need to work together. And John, don't know where yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, but the, it's, it's like his tactic too. But he wanted to go to the back because he wanted to attack us from the back, which he did at mile six. It was my turn on the pace. I was doing my, my, my turn and like, I just hear a whoop when I look, when I look like that. I just see John gun and next one follow. I try to get up and, and I try to get up and next crumb bite me and I just sit, sit in and I just start to dig, dig, dig. 
But the gap was real small and Marlon said, Papa, we need to go. I tell him, Marlon, if you have it, go, go, go. And the man, he continued pace a little bit and I jumped on, on him and then we started to rotate. And, and the gap was started to oh. open from us. So. That's how the cookie crumble. But I know um, I didn't win the race, but the Belizean public really showed me love. See, Let me I turn in our comments got, right now. Um, right now I, you, I, went, I, went, that I went on a little vacation trip and it was pure love. Yesterday I went to... Oh, um, I heard you mention Elston Kerr. Yeah. He's from Barrel Boom. Well, yeah. I'm from Barrel Boom as well. Oh, I there grew you up, go. I, Big I up, up Barrel yeah, Boom. I grew up there, so... I'm like, and we have past champions from there because Mr. Linda Gillette was from there too. So I was there yesterday at the, the horse race and it was pure love, no? Support from big the, the boom, villagers. Big up boom, big up boom. Big up boom, right? Yeah, yeah. Really Massive people yeah. there, all of that. Yeah, I'm but from Barrel Boom. I wanted to ask, you know, that breakaway, like talk a little bit because you don't give me some strategies, some tactics and I have to say thank you so much to all the cyclists that, mm. you know, you guys are working together. I think that is something, I don't think Belizeans know what's happening when you guys mm. are on that scene and how important they are when they give, you know, whatever it is, the banana, the snacks mm. and everything. But also, I guess, have to be strategic. It's not about just you winning. Mm -hmm. It's bigger than yes. that. It's about us coming together yeah, yeah. with the sportsmanship, with the team building, because this stuff is Belize too as well. You want to be able to, like, support each other. And the sportsmanship too, I was going like, to talk about, we only never left the Anguillan by itself like mm -hmm. that. Like, when I said, okay, this is the maintenance. Yes. Like, we have to be able to, we would go through this whole thing together. And I think people don't understand yeah, that mentality. Yes, that is definitely commendable. So I'm hoping that Belize and change your mentality okay, right yes. now and see that, Please. you know what, this is actually something commendable. This is like, when he goes somewhere, he could be able to say, you know what, I was in this class, in this cross country, and our Belize, the Belizeans had my back, you know, they helped in that way. But what was it like in that breakaway? Like, what were you thinking in that? You, you don't mean to say the cramp, because it's so much different cramps. Like, ah, <laughs> along the, I don't like, man, you may really the cramp up. I don't know how you, you get all that way. So, um, how was that? It was really rough, but all that was on my mind was winning. Winning. I wanted to win bad. I trained, I put myself in the position, but I fell short, but... Trust me, oh I will man, come you don't, again. You don't fall, you, come in a, you come in third. No, what? First. You know what? First. First. Yeah, yeah, first. first. You may still have a comment to us. Uh -huh. mm. About the Guatemala. Uh -huh. Yeah, well. <laughs> Tell me about that, check, man. Um, <laughs> earlier in the week, like, we are, we are good friends. Oscar Quiroz. He is, no doubt, the, the, right. one of the best cyclists in Belize. Giovanni Lovell. Next. I spoke to those guys on one on one. I said, bye. Oscar, we have to deal in their ballet. We are dealing in Guatemala <laughs> because, i am be honest with you, when we go train, people insult you, people lower their glass and cuss you out and say, oh, right yeah. all day, and the Guatemala, they go and beat up on you and this and that. Sometimes we want to answer them back and sometimes they'll say, you know, something go say them people want to make them. Mom, you have, if, if you have very few times you have meet some good people, where see we the riding a sun hot, we may be able to have a $2 for and you know, buy a $2 dollars shit in water, buy a couple of power, you know. Stop and give it to you. Mm -hmm. Ernie, I tell her, I left it at the shop. That you, know, you do have some people like that. But when I started to talk to Oscar and he was in the same mindset like me, that we are dealing with Guatemalans, it, it came true because when the race started, when Belizeans attacked, I, re I reached a front camera kind of again. Who was I? I started to make nice early. I said, Why? No, but I don't want to chase any Belize man. But we don't ride on the same team. You understand? So mm -hmm. they're not obligated to listen to me. But that day, we want to beat the Guatemalans because everybody may embarrass me bad. So we want to beat them. So everybody willing for me to take a chance. You only had a couple of Belize, and I don't know one name who made the role of the Guat's name, but that's that, that a fine, fine thing. That's a death yeah. series, sir. We don't know about death series. Yeah, but I know that the Belize and people there were doing eight prizes. They're happy that, that most of the locals get the prizes. And the Guatemalans, they know, take the prize, uh, got money for buy cement block, uh, got money for this, uh, got money for that. <laughs> I love, love you, it. very because, specific. <laughs> no, I'll be honest with you, um, the 2019 when them Bali in Barasui, the, the figures when them Bali care, yeah. cross the back, you know, mm -hmm. Belize, and when they convert that, yep, it, guaranteed. Mm -hmm. They could knock up all these things, but, uh, uh, so they had, I know, they had plans again. We can't come and do it, but I'll be honest with you, you look at the Belizean son in one time. You know, they're not, you're not continue to do it and do it and do it. 
So on them come ready. Yeah, we 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 want we want be next year. They are called with vengeance. Yeah, they are. And don't come back again because you know he, you know see how they in his eyes right yeah. now. The victory but, yeah, they like you know how third. I come third and I feel good about myself. But I want to win. I want to feel how you feel for if it come on the top step. And not now every cyclist dream, but it's only a dream of your work. For it. it could come true. I want to ask you in regards to competition. I mentioned it in Coach Talk, and I think, you know, segueing from the Guatemalans, but just the idea of why it's important to have foreigners in the cross country. Because people like to say, you know, make it just be for Belizeans. You know, we're tired of how foreigners come and win first place, all these different things. Could you speak on that, you know, from an athlete, you know, You've raced internationally. You have so much experience and you understand the need to be able to have foreigners. But please explain to the public out there why it's important. Um, I just want to get this clear. I know some, some people in the public might bash me about this, but we need to, to exile ourselves from being just a local race. It was a local race in the 70s, 80s, 90s, right. mostly. No, 90s foreigners was already coming, but... We need the foreign competition and strong foreign competition. We're not talking about Melcher, man, because we come and bring someone from Melcher, then a Guatemalan. Mm -hmm. We come and bring someone from Chetamal, then a Mexican, but we couldn't beat them. So we don't want that kind of guys. We want the guys there where names they get called in the Caribbean, in a Central America, in a South America, because um, this Anguillan guy, he's no joke. He rides, he rides on, a, on a good team that Justin Williams won out in Miami. So he, he gets his thing to ride on, yeah, just like John. So he come with the experience. Yeah, 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 ready. yeah, yeah. The Anguillan guy, his Caribbean country sent him to Australia where he does his training and, and stuff. John was all the way in Italy training. So definitely yeah, you so, have the yeah. international experience yeah, and coming into Belize. I think it sets that so, mind frame that, you know what, we yeah, need for sure. Yeah. And like, like I was saying, no, um, the foreign competition really helps us mm -hmm. because we have events whereby we need to travel and we need to race against these guys or even better guys. Uh -huh. Because when we go to, like, for instance, we went to the Pan American Championship last year. The same guy, Hassan Hennis, mm -hmm. he came eighth place. And eighth place in Pan American Championship ain't no joke against Brazil, Colombia, Mexico, uh, mm. Peru, Ecuador, all those countries who produce professional athletes that are in the Tour de France. And this same guy, Hassan Hennis, came in eighth. And in the Caribbean Championship, well, the Caribbean, we, we've, we've started to, to get medals. And I'm a part of the selections from 2019. And every time we go, we get a medal. So, Oscar Kiros, yeah, we have real class talent here that can compete internationally. But, like I said, we are not professionals. After I've done this show, I have to go to work. I, yeah, I right. have to go to work. John, is he, he, I don't know if he went back already, but he's just kicking it. Hassani, likewise, they, they just kick it. He they don't ride and yeah, he does, cycle. Yeah. So, it's, it's, a big, it's a big difference. All right. Byron, I mean, the love that you've been receiving in our group, in our Big comments up, Byron, section. Byron, proud of you always. Congratulations. Congratulations, Pope. I don't know if you know. Yeah, yeah, Pope. Oh, I just want to check it out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some of that, too. Five, I want to spin it back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, Still so proud of you. All of these different, I got like all of the Lee. I'm like, what are the Lee thing now? The Lee thing, we have the Lee streamers. So people just to get excited. All the emojis were just to big you up. They show so much yes. love and that they're so proud of you for all the work you to put in. Third place is exceptional, especially in these crazy times, and you still to try, and we know next year you'll come back um, hungry first. and ready. Well, the, the Belize they have this, this myth, right? Mm -hmm. When me and Marlon, they ride from the boulevard, like I said, they say if you come in third place, you never get to win across country. Oh, lad. Right? <laughs> you haven't brought that myth now? Yeah, no, so, no, the myth has been broken already. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Because my, my Balian, my ballet has, has won it already, Darnell Barrow. He came third, and after he came third, he, he won. Okay, there you go. So, so, so this is your step yeah, up, Yeah, so I want, I want to try to prove, prove this that I could 
I really could do this. The step there right there. Yeah, the step there. The step right there. I watch it, I watch it, sir. Watch you back. Watch the step there, like, it wants your compound. So you need, yeah. to, you need, to, you got this, you got it. And I'm sure people are, when you know now how you like banana and like his sandwich so, and yeah. the coconut water and all these Yeah, I'm more, I'm more, I'm more old school. We get gels and bars and right. things, but I don't really like the, the bars because it takes too long for broke down with the gel. I don't, yeah, yeah. What and I that, like. I think it's a great congratulations and thank you to all the blazons out there that are always supportive, that are always, you know, offering snacks and these different things. Like, really commend yourself for that. You don't have to do that. And it's a lot of support. He mentioned too as well, like, you know, when you get in a city, you're here, all the people, they cheer on. Like, that yeah. really makes a big difference. So, again, to all the blazons, we're going to stand out there at a sun, hot and wait patiently. And just for that moment when you say the pass, that yeah. is super important. Even though you're, you. you're still have a, a few where uh, give negative comments, but most uh, most people, I mean, most the positive things are uh, good you try. Don't worry about the negativity, people. Yeah. 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 And I think we change. as a country could move forward better by stop being negative towards each other, I don't know. Definitely. Sure love. A huge congratulations again to yes. you. We are Thank you super for being proud of you. Sharing we, this. We love it. We love it. Next time I I'll come, we might have um, banana sandwiches. Yeah. Yeah. Like, you know. <laughs> But thank you so much, yes. and we look forward to amazing, great things coming from you. We know how you, you're very disciplined. You won't stop yeah, here. No, and no, so no. next race, we were the pan and like, you know, my, my money the pump poop. My money the pump poop. <laughs> pump like, yeah, come with it. Um, you see that right there too, that me kind of me ease me, because I really never had a lot of pressure for me leading up to this cross country. Right. Uh -huh. No side of pressure me there for Oscar uh, no. level, because <laughs> I, had a, I had a goal January, February. I want to try to see. I just want to run wrong with uh, the gauge with uh, my right. condition there. And I want to try to strike for cross country. All right. And Josephine happen. Flowers said, How you forget to give you a bun? You uh, forget to but you forget to give. I said, Next time, <laughs> don't worry. Next time, I'll win. Don't worry. Big up my friend. And yes, yes. She, 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 she accompanied us with us um, for one of those events in the Commonwealth Games when we went. Okay. It's Miss Josephine. All right. Awesome, awesome. So, again, congratulations. The Belizeans are showing their love as always. We thank you again for being out there, all your supportive people. For negativity, we're not watching you know, with a word, but all the good stuff, okay? Third place, we're super proud. And with that, we. Could I, um, Let's yeah. get at least chance to big up my sponsors too. Yes, but I'm just going to go there. Yeah, um, West Shop. West Shop um, really step up big for we because um, they invest a lot in a week. As prior to this this cross country, we had a two weeks training camp just where we just live, mm -hmm. eat bike, sleep bike, everything. Green bike. Green bike, <laughs> yeah. We are real exile. Nobody for this truck. We are uh, away from your family. We actually were in a bush, the camp, and we had to ride out on the road doing the training. The first day, I could remember, Mr. Plum, I know you watch this thing. You know, you make me know shit and playing. If you're not there, the program, if you're not there, the program, if you're not there, the program, get on a bag, get on a bike, leave. Um, West Trap, really step up big for you. Um, best care pharmacy, Belmont Pond. Okay. Yes, pure guard. A reasonable oil. Belize, your vehicle need oil. <laughs> Reasonable. <laughs> I I like you want to right take now. care. You want to take care of your engine. Pure guard. Right. Uh, my teammates. I can't forget my teammates yeah. because, like I said earlier, from January I tell my team I want cross country, so I want to sacrifice to anyone I want to tell cross country, so I want to return the favor to me now, and they did. I run it down. Jafari Castro, David okay. Thorbred. Um, Wasani Castro, Eric Trapp, Carlton Bubblehead, Robinson, um, Shane Jones, Angel Zib, the man, the only man that ride bike, he's from San Antonio Village, <laughs> yeah. And Fernando Rosado, Mr. Vanegas, the, the manager. Thanks, man, because you really, you really um, help me a lot. You, you, you make a lot of sacrifices for your family, likewise, likewise us. And thing, um, I still have a couple of individual people who help me who are living in the city, like Mr. Marlon Skeen. He always right. supply me with supplements and stuff. My boss there, if he give me time and other stuff where I use for them, I can't really disclose anything. But, uh, no problem. Yeah, but <laughs> thanks, <laughs> thanks everybody for the support, Mr. Stanley Longsworth. Yeah, because like, he give me the wheels on me to ride right. in the race and things. So okay. thanks for all the support, my girlfriend who cook the food for me and make sure I have to eat properly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah, you I have, when I go home. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, I have a real, I have my thing real cut out, my son. Everybody who, who give me, and everybody who 
See me in the morning time, uh, give me that little motivation, uh, tell me, make sure you get ready for this cross country, you know. Definitely. So you have a lot of supporters and yes. you big them all up. And we thank you all for watching this segment. When we're back, we're going to be talking about wildlife and the bird nesting season. The do's and do nots. Stay tuned for that exciting conversation. We'll fly to it. <laughs>